Hi everybody, it's Hank from Hank Creations and today I made this new origami diamond and I really like this because this is super cool and I made, I love making these and I made a lot of them as you can see. I made a lot more here. So let's get started. Take the paper, fold it up in half to a rectangle. Make sure you make precise folds and crease sharply. Unfold, fold it in half the other way. And for some of these parts, you're not, one fold, you're not gonna fold all the way, so be careful. Then fold in half diagonally. Unfold, fold in half the other way. Unfold and fold back to a rectangle. Okay, then you wanna take this flap and fold it until it gets to this crease here. And this point here should go over here so that it looks like that. Unfold. Then open up this pocket here. You wanna fold in half on this crease. So you need to put your hand all the way in and then crease it up. And it should look like that. And just press down here on the existing creases on the side here would help you. And this crease right here should align here. Make sure you hold this flap here to keep it there so that it it doesn't like slide like that. Then completely unfold. Then there should be a few creases here. Make sure those are facing towards you. And fold it up in half. And these creases here are going to want to align here. And this is the part where you're not gonna crease it up all the way. So make sure these creases are aligned on those other creases. Like that. Then you wanna just crease up that little part there where these two creases align in that little box there. Like that, then unfold. And it should look like that with a crease right there and a triangle there. Then we're gonna make the square base. Fold it in half into a square. And then take this flap, fold it till it gets to that point. There should be already already a crease there. Flip it over. Take this flap, fold it to the, that point. Crease sharply. Then you wanna put your hand into that pocket. Like that. Then you wanna flat, just like push down. Like that. Just push down there. Then we made a square base and it should look like that in the inside. Next, we're gonna wanna make a bunch of squash folds. Pick this flap or page, flip it over crease up here, then take this flap, fold it like that. So this point here should go to the top here. And this edge here should align to this center crease. Crease sharply, then unfold. Fold the page back, crease it sharply here. Then you wanna open the page here, the pocket of it, and then just open it up like we did last time before, and just flatten it until this point here goes along here. 
and increase sharpening. Then take this page, flip it over. Take this page, flip it over, increase sharpening. Then take this flap, hold. Make sure it sticks up. Put your hand into this pocket like that. And then make sure this crease here aligns there. Like that. And fold this back, flip it over, then there should be a crease here, then turn this page over, open the pocket here, crease here, and flatten it. Then turn the page over, do the same. And this one. And then this one should be easy because there's already a crease. And there should be a little crease right there, a line. And if you don't have it, then you want to just flip through the pages and look for it. Okay, make sure there's four flaps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Then find the crease again, okay? Then mountain fold like that on the crease. Okay. Crease this one sharply. It may be hard to crease because there's a lot of layers. Then we wanna fold and have diagonally. So then we're gonna fold in half like that. And then there should be a point right there like that. Then just crease it up. Like that. Unfold. Do the same on this side. Fold in half diagonally. There should be a point right there. And then crease it. It would be better if there was a point right there. Then unfold. Take this flap, fold it up, and then these two points here would want to align on those two creases. And for this part, you want to crease all, all of it. So crease sharply, like that. And then completely unfold, and then we've made a pretty star decoration then we just want to recrease on these octagons these two but don't get mixed up like don't go like here then here then one here and then just go here don't do that just just follow along here just crease up all of it and also in the inner octagon And go crease up in the center octagon. Okay, now once you're done creasing up all those the octagon, you there's gonna be like a kind of square shape here. Then there's gonna be a crease right here, so you wanna crease that part up sharply, like that. Then if you just follow along to here, just go all the way across, then you want to crease up the one that's all the way on the other side and crease it sharply. Then you want to take this here, just go all the way along till it gets to here. And the crease should, all, should also go onto there, onto the, the octagon like that. So that it should look like this. There should be a crease going like that. And it shouldn't be straight. 
and you want to crease it up sharply like that then just go all all over on the other sides so just recrease those creases follow along so it gets to the other side then crease it up sharply and just crease that little part right there and crease up here like that so now there, there should be a crease right here like that and a crease right there Once you're done creasing all of them, then there should be a little triangle here on all sides. Then you just want to recrease them, but not going all the way. Just crease up those, the triangle, until you, there's a point there. Once you're done creasing all of them, it should look like that. Then, this is going to be the assembling part. So you wanna take this flap here, crease like that, then just fold in half on that crease. So just take this point and fold it till it gets to there, like that. Like that. Then we're gonna go all around. But flip it over. You just want to erase the creases on the on the octagons because you want a nice and flat top. So just go over it like that. Okay, then we want to take this crease up here, take this flap, fold it till it gets to there. So that's one. And take this triangle here, take that triangle, and two. Then three and four. Then you just want to crease here by just making, just going over it like that. And unfold all. And one. We're just going all around. Two. Three and four. Like that. So one, two, three, and four. Then don't unfold. And then take this flap. Five, six, seven. Once you get to seven, there should be a crease right here and a flap here. So you want to crease up here and it should look like that. And make sure that there's going to be there's going to be a point down there. So then this is the probably the hardest part. Tuck it inside and put the triangle in. And once you've done it, it should look like this. And we're done almost. We just need to recrease all those creases. So then these parts should all be mountain folds. Okay, then there should be like these little diamonds here, rhombuses. You just want to recrease on those creases like that, those creases, and on the bottom too, just to make it look nice.
once you're done all its creases if it's kind of like pushed in like that you want to blow in the bottle but it's probably going to unfold it so you want to hold the sides here and blow and then it should look like that and you're done bye